now we're going to try and catch up for the time with Mist and watch some ranked matches. This one is going to be between Hey I'm MVP and Synergy. And before actually the game starts, I have a little bit of an announcement to make. Uh, if you're watching this video and if you make uh, MMO content yourself, be it videos, maybe writing articles, uh, and if you're interested in collaborating and maybe starting a little bit of a project, if you're thinking of uh, starting a website and you do not have the skills for that, for web design, for uh, running a server or whatever, or maybe just interested in growing into something bigger than you already are then make sure to contact me because right now I have a couple of uh, cool ideas but I cannot make them happen by myself uh, no great thing ever started from a single man uh, it's always a group a group cooperation between uh, between one another so if you're interested contact me on YouTube Twitter Facebook uh, on dailypt.com and whatever just contact me uh, well and as I said, back to the game by the way, as I said, this is going to be between Hey I am MVP and uh, and some lag here. Hopefully this will not last for long, but uh, lags go away, okay? Go away. We do not need you ruining our match here. This is going to be between Hey I am MVP and the Synergy. Uh, Synergy, let's look at the setup here. Uh, it's a little bit weird here on Hey I am MVP side. They've got two operatives. Um, <clears throat> Like uh, as you can see, Sharkin and uh, Scold, they've got the Gooders playing Annihilation. Uh, just bet is, of course, tanking as usual on his Juggernaut. Uh, Insidious is on Assassin. I'm not sure what spec he is either, of course, uh, Deception or maybe he is a Defense. Uh, as well as they've got a couple of uh, Sorks. And a sniper, ice, uh, ice on this sniper, and the game has begun. As you can see, bodies is taking uh, offensive, offensively defensive position here, and uh, Kakarot immediately engages on uh, someone. Didn't see who it was. Maybe it was Gooders or Sharkin. Uh, preventative uh, AOE dropping in the choke point. Sharkin's cold. And what? Wait a minute, guys. Wait a minute here. What am I seeing? MVPs seem to be running off three hills, so maybe that was the reason for uh, several, several uh, operatives and uh, several sorks. But I am not sure. Let's watch what's happening. So far, it, it doesn't look like uh, Synergy can make a dent in uh, the defenders of Hey I MVP, although they are trying. What do they have here in terms of their setups? I'm definitely seeing a couple of uh, sentinels here, both are smashers, I suppose, as well as uh, telekinetic sages, at least two, I think, yes, they've got uh, two telekinetic sages on the fence, so uh, there is a scoundrel healing in the distance, and oh my god, Shanlol is uh, getting pounded, or at least it looks like it, because actually he is still at full health, scope 7 is now in a little bit of a hit, um, Insidious, uh, we can look from the media map, is moving from position to position, waiting for someone to come and maybe slap him, but uh, hopefully that will not happen. Gooders taking a little bit of damage and a lot of action is going on in this choke point. Maybe they should try and spread out a little bit because, well, you know, with uh, two telekinetic sages and... Uh, Two smashers, this can become easily become anyone's grave, and you can see that hit points on the ops frame are dropping a little bit. Scold is taking a little bit of damage, well, maybe not a little bit, and quite a lot, but he is effectively healed, because you know, 3-4 heals <laughs> can work wonders since 2.0 hit. <laughs> Simply, no amount of damage will ever, ever be able to break 3 heals uh, focused on a single uh, character, especially if he is... Uh, under uh, Warzone Adrenal, if he's popping defensive cooldowns, and I'm not sure, it, it does look like uh, the synergy have the damage uh, to make it happen, but so far, um, hey, I'm MVP, just uh, not budging an inch, they, they are completely safe standing in this choke point here, even though usually, you know guys, usually, uh, if you stand here, you die, uh, smashers are like, oh, let us, let us leave on you for a second here, uh, <laughs> And you are back there, up in the respawn point, uh, relaxing for a second. 
But it's just not happening in this game. Look at this. Sharkin is getting pounded. He has been attacked from all sides. And nothing is going on. Just uh, nothing. Heals, heals uh, since the expansion hit are just so strong. You just focus several heals. And uh, there is nothing your opponent can do to break you down. Uh, I don't suppose that both teams have maximum gear just as of yet. It's been just... Um, just uh, I don't know. Just... More, a little bit more than a couple of weeks since uh, these teams have uh, started doing any 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 ranked, or maybe even less than a couple of weeks than uh, since they started doing ranked at all. So I doubt they have uh, the maximum gear as of yet. But a lot of these players are already uh, well augmented, and they have at least half Canker. Of course, we are not. And look at this body; he just decides to switch to his back ground simply because he's not interested. He knows he's not gonna die. I'm not sure if he will get punished for it, and it seems like he won't. Um, doesn't seem like. Um, hey, I'm MVP. Are pressured in whatever way, regardless of how much. Uh, damage synergy might be having right now and if you can see healers are just uh, making making what you you would usually call a grave mistake they're driving themselves into a corner but it, it, they don't seem to be uh, worried about it whatsoever because um, with three heals what uh, what else can you dream of uh, seriously <laughs> uh, Agent Ice uh, having uh, an interesting position there, doing uh, damage. He seems to be a uh, lethality sniper, from what I can tell. Uh, and it seems like uh, maybe, maybe, you know, um, Synergy might be willing to try something different. And it seems like they've uh, switched a little bit, but uh, that attack, whoever went east, has uh, already been wiped. Yes, and he is returning from the respawn point. Uh, once again, uh, Insidious is left alone east. Uh, but he is... What? What's interesting, though, is he is located in the center of uh, the eastern part of the room and that is a vulnerable position if if the enemy has seen you once they in if you haven't moved off this position and you are just relocating from point to point uh, if the enemy has seen you there once uh, they will of course inform their teammates but right now it seems like whole of the synergy is here on the western side but you never know when uh, uh, a shadow of a synergy i think it was eclipse uh, shadow of the synergy uh, will uh, yes uh, there is eclipse uh, shadow of the synergy let me repeat the third time will break out from the rest of the team by using his vanish ability and goes east uh, and like i was saying is just look at this, Insidious doesn't want to move off this position and that is pretty damn dangerous because that is not a safe position for a sh an assassin to be in uh, at all. You can, there is a, there is just a 360 degrees you can be spotted from and you will not be able to notice the enemy approaching as well as you have to rotate the camera all the time which uh, adds another layer of inconvenience to, to this defensive spot. But I don't know, Insidious I'm sure is a good player and knows what he's doing, so we'll just see what happens. Uh, but uh, there is one minute remaining in round one and, I, and I'm not sure that the Synergy will be capable of doing something. Now, what is it? I can see only six players, by the way. Uh, have uh, two of them going somewhere? Uh, Insidious... Uh, well, his HP are not uh, dropping as of, ye as of yet, I don't think... Oh my god! His bomb has 20 seconds left until dead and, and that, that is what I was talking about. That was not, I guess he was CC'd, uh, two stealthers broke away, it was hard to see, of course, but you can you can see that that's a plan. In series, that was a, c a horrible position, now I can, I can officially announce that, that was a horrible position for him to stand in, and uh, that cost, that cost... Um, uh, hey, I'm MVP there, Doran. It might effectively cost them the game, but I didn't know that again. Then again, it's hard to say because uh, seriously, uh, Synergy was not doing uh, any freaking damage, even though it's obvious they had some. They had two smashers, there is telekinetics, and that is definitely numbers. That is definitely numbers, but. Uh, 
it was effectively pro healed uh, completely by uh, hey i'm mvp but uh, i'm pretty sure that they will be dropping some of these healers and uh, switching to dps right now but will it be enough to um, to take synergy down it's hard to say 12 seconds till the start of the round and we'll see what actually happens here right now i'm pretty sure some of the hey i'm mvp's players are respecting and We'll see as the round starts what will happen because seriously, uh, hey, I'm MVP should be worried right now. You know, if you've watched the previous games between with these teams or uh, any teams, whoops, there is no expertise buff here at all. And sad and imme bodies immediately engaging on Sifu, thinking about uh, maybe seeing someone. I don't know. Uh, Dust are here in the distance. Uh, what? Uh, what uh, I don't know. He didn't do any damage is he a healer maybe actually what I, what I'm thinking about is that uh, it might be a new trend I've been watching some several uh, games from different teams uh, recently and a lot of teams prefer to go uh, quite a few heals on uh, the defensive phase of uh, void star like three four heals is uh, somewhat uh, becoming somewhat of a standard when you play a defensive round uh, here at void star and maybe that's uh, what synergy did after after seeing that they don't have damage anyway they've specced heals and uh, well i cannot say for sure for sure right now because obviously i cannot trace uh, enemy players here but we'll see and uh, the uh, end game stats and um, What's going on, guys? What's going on here? It's it's a, it's definitely a fight. Sharkin taking some damage right here. Two Sentinels working together, uh, as well as joined by the Guardian Euron. Um, I wonder what spec he plays. Uh, he, he's supposed to be tanking, right? And, but uh, he, it looks like he inflicts damage, but I'm just not sure. Somebody click on Iron. I want to see his spec. Kakarot here taking some damage. He is smashed, but it leaps away and uh, immediately brought uh, back to life. And I can really see, like, uh, you see there in the distance, it's at least three heals. At least three heals. Uh, yes, that's, that's what I was talking about uh, before. And Iron here, uh, he is, uh, he's in Sarasu here. Yeah, he is a Definitely. Well, but then again, this is a defensive, uh, defensive stage. What am I talking about? Yes, they switched places. I kind of forgot that for a second. I was still thinking that uh, Synergy was attacking, but they are on defense, so of course he would be defending. Maybe previously he was, he was smashing, or it's it's become um, it's uh, become more standard to respect uh, in the war zones since 2.0 hit a lot more players utilize it than before when uh, when previously before the expansion people preferred to, to remain in um, in their in their only spec like on either only smash or only tanking right now we can see a lot more people respecting in between specs like maybe sometimes specking hybrid sometimes specking uh, smash sometimes still kinetics and then uh, going into heals and uh, depending on what the team needs and that uh, adds an interesting layer to uh, to the um, uh, ranked matches here but then again it, it makes it a lot harder to spectate simply because it it is impossible sometimes to trace all the changes they occur so quickly and right now we'll neither team budges here then again it does look like a synergy still takes a little bit more damage but uh, yeah since they uh whoops hoodred got caught right in the middle but i don't think anything dangerous will be ha happening to him uh, he is uh, getting a uh, lightning shoved up his ass but uh, so far it stays manages to stay alive and yeah well, what was he saying uh, is that uh, ever since um synergy spec uh, more heals than they had on the attack round uh, they are staying alive just as well as um, hey I am I'm MVP did in the first round three minutes 35 seconds remain in this round and so far well synergy is holding steady and uh, that should like I said before hey I'm MVP should be worried right now because they they had lost a door and that is a automatic win for synergy unless hey i'm a vp can access uh, engineer some mm, 
some strategy. As you can see, uh, right now uh, they have split in two people uh, on the eastern side, but so far nothing is going on, even though, oh, it's even three people on the eastern side. Some of them are hugging the door, but uh, it seems that the synergy uh, quickly realized what was going on and is properly split. Right now, what I can see is uh, five people, I think, west, and so that means uh, three, three east. Is it even five? It looks more like three against uh, four. Hmm, hmm, not exactly actually three four against five well that's fair I guess that's fair but uh, nothing nothing is happening on either side maybe they shouldn't have split that way because um, basically uh, when healer when healer is guarded it is very hard uh, to take them down uh, since a patch hit without a uh, focused uh, focused the DPS from everything you have a good healer will always find a way uh, to keep himself alive um, against uh, one or even two attackers simply because the numbers he can deliver uh, are just um, insanely big I might even go as far as to say they're a little bit too big but well anyway uh, maybe it's the gear difference I don't really know I'm not sure what gear uh, synergy is running but I uh, I cannot even think that they would be far too far behind. Hey, I'm MVP here. And there is uh, some switch going on. Everyone is leaving for the eastern side. Someone's hugging the door. Will it happen? 1 minute 20 seconds in the game. But uh, uh, um, no, I can see that the, the icon moved on the minimap. And it doesn't look like anything is going to be happening. Uh, on the eastern side the body switches as well and now we can see what's going on but uh, seriously the picture is not so uh, different uh, from what we've been seeing uh, at west and um, people from hey I'm MVP continuing to hug the door maybe it uh, Humper uh, scold almost planted but it, uh, got interrupted in time by uh, uh, Eclipse here and is it just my imagination, guys, or did nobody on uh, Hey I MVP die this round? I just haven't seen anyone actually falling. Yes, uh, their HP might drop low sometime, but uh, they would immediately heal this person. Um, he would stay alive. But but I definitely did see some uh, of the synergy players that fall on. Ooh, uh, Hoodred. Is that's not your hood. What the hell? <laughs> you are in danger here. You should uh, take better care not to die. But the three seconds, two seconds, one second. And the synergy wins this match. Holy crap. They managed it seriously. Insidious there. In his positioning was, uh, was not so good. And he got control. And look at the stats. Nice protection there, bodies. Nice damage there, Sifu, and holy shit. Sorry about that, but seriously, one kill on Synergy! Oh my god, against 13! Even 14 on Hey, I'm MVP. What the hell? But, uh, well, that's a um, great example that the games are not won by, uh, by damage alone and kills. Good clutch, clutch move there on Synergy's part. Controlling in cities, uh, planting that bomb. Of course, we didn't see what exactly happened there, but uh, damn, one kill on synergy, guys! One kill, and they had the damage. Have you seen they had a couple of people uh, above one million? But then, uh, have you seen that the uh, MVPs had four people at one million healing? Uh, well, they had three at one million and one at eight hundred. Holy crap! Holy crap! Synergy had something similar, but their healing numbers were considerably lower, and the damn healers are overpowered. Like I said, healers are overpowered. Nerf healers, or better yet, remove healing from the game. Teach people to like uh, do ops, uh, do PVE, do PVP without healing. Without healing. 
Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this game and I will be commentating on a few uh, more shortly. Uh, but for now, I remind you about the announcement I make, made in the beginning of this video. So if you make content, content and interested in uh, collaborating, cooperating, whatever, get in touch with me. But for now, I am getting the... Uh, the I wanted to say something I shouldn't have said. So I'm just getting off. Uh, have a good one, guys.